This is a motor that came in on a boat. Uh, his complaint was that it needed to have a starter. And so we took a picture and that ear was broken off. And he said he'd take it to another shop and they said he'd need a new motor. Well, he does need a new motor, but not because of that starter bolt. It was hydrolocked with water coming out of the number four cylinder and it's uh, still come gets water in number four. So we had it put the starter on, got it started, got it running. We changed the oil um, and everything seems to be good except the oil started milking up again. As you can see, that's a lot of oil that came out of that engine, way more than it's supposed to have. So after we started it, we uh, uh, noticed it was getting water in the oil and then we let it sit and water accumulated back in that cylinder as it was this morning. You could actually see the little drop right there. So something's going on the inside, but this motor has been taken apart. It's been taken apart a number of different times. That right there is just really special. So the uh, balance shaft has been out. That we had to put in there um, because no one put a plug in the dipstick. So that was just an open uh, hole. And you could see when it was running, the oil from that hole was just going into the engine compartment and uh, it was losing oil. And the timing cover is different. There's a number of different reasons that we know it's been completely up, apart. So it's getting a new engine. We're going to probably go ahead and pull that head off and just look inside. It sat over winter time with water in number uh, number four. So we might find out later on that the cylinder walls cracked and that's what's allowing water into the oil. But the oil valley seems to be good. No don't see any cracks there. Um, there's no external cracks to the outside. But somehow or another water is getting into the number four and we'd really like to know what's causing that. So we're going to pop ahead and look.